Adult content is something that many modern men struggle with. But many men don't even know why they should quit adult content in the first place. So here are six reasons you should quit adult content today. 1. You suddenly have more time in your day. What do you want to accomplish in your life? Do you want to learn another language? Learn to cook? Earn a promotion? Get a girlfriend? Start a band? Lose weight? Well, guess what? Giving up porn can give you back the time that you've been missing. When I was using, I would find myself watching porn for hours at a time. Add it all up over a week and I had a part-time job watching porn. The only thing it paid me was shame and regret. Things were always getting done at the last minute. I was often late for work or meeting with friends, and my apartment was always a mess. Take porn addictions out of the equation and suddenly I had a huge chunk of time that I could put toward all those things I wanted to accomplish. The laundry, dishes, and vacuuming all got done in a day. I was able to concentrate on improving myself instead of hurting myself. My homework and assignments were all getting handed in on time. The best part is, all the new skills, goals and accomplishments suddenly become your focus throughout your day instead of videos of naked people. You have to hide your porn use, but your new job, skills, car, girlfriend divided by etc. Those are all things you get to be proud of. 2. You start to like yourself. This all ties into the new skills and hobbies you develop. The most amazing writer, David Wong, of Crack.com said it best, you can't bullshit yourself into being happy. By the end of the day. All you've accomplished is a few deposits into the spank bank and you look around to see that your place is still a disaster. What is there to feel happy about? Well, that's the problem. Human beings generate happiness from accomplishments, even small accomplishments. Instead of letting that mess in your room accumulate, clean it up and you can smile and say, it's so much nicer in here. Oh hey, that's where my cat was hiding. From there, you can carry that effort into other things that make you happy. Another important side effect of giving up porn is that other people will like you for it. Once you give up your porn addictions, you suddenly become the type of person employers want to hire, the type of friend people want to have, and the type of guy that girls want to date. It's only natural. Productive members of society just get more respect and admiration from people because they're just more fun to be around. You learn that you didn't need to win a gold medal, have lots of money, or be a movie star for people to like you. You just had to accomplish a few small things to become the person that people wanted to be around. An effort at anything is usually enough to make you feel much better about yourself. 3. You finally get to stop lying. Living with a sexual compulsion was like having a double life. You need to constantly worried about being caught again by someone. You will obsess about checking to make sure your history was erased and that your cookies were deleted. No matter how many times you would check, you will still feel paranoid that might have left a breadcrumb somewhere and that would be the end of your relationship. When you live a lie for long enough, you start to convince yourself of it as well, and the more lies you tell, the more it becomes harder to tell the truth about anything. To overcome this, you must come clean about my sexual addiction and deceptions to a friend. It will be incredibly painful, but after a few months, you can definitely say that it was worth it. You start to tell the truth knowing that your friend could have left you for it, but it turned out that all they ever really wanted was honesty. Once you decide giving up porn was the best option, you don't have to hide anymore. If you made a mistake, you can admit to it. You didn't have to pretend to be perfect. So, now when your girlfriend asks you what you did today, you can tell her the unedited version of what you really did. You no longer have to worry about hurting her ever again. 4. You understand what it means to be in control. We all know that sexual addictions are not limited to porn or sex. The human mind is an amazing thing and it can turn almost anything into a drug. Ine has a show dedicated to people with addictions to everything from alcohol and heroin to food and shopping. Once I dropped the porn from my daily routine, my brain still wanted the dopamine it was used to. I understand that it is incredibly easy to fall back into the same habit with a whole new fix. But when you apply what you learn from your porn addictions to other aspects of your life, it helps you make the best choices. If there is one thing I've learned from this journey, it's this, you're an adult now and if you make bad choices, no one is going to stop you. When you're a kid, your parents limit the time you spend watching TV, they make you eat your vegetables before dessert, and you had to clean your bedroom if you wanted your allowance. Well, you're all grown up now. Are you going to eat McDonald's every day? Are you going to rack up your credit cards until you're bankrupt? Are you going to drink until you throw up each night? If you do, no one will stop you. They may say to you, Hey Mike, you might want to cut back on the pizza. But no one will physically stand in your way. If you keep calling Domino's, 
they will keep delivering. Porn addicts are certainly an example of this. There is a chance that no one will know you're addicted to it. The only one who can stand in your way is you. I learned to think of all the consequences. I learned to ask myself, do I need this much of this? Is this the best decision? How will this affect me tomorrow? I'm not saying that I obsess over it, but it's up to me to be my own best friend. That's what an adult does. 5. Sex starts to feel real again. As Gary Wilson of YourBrainOnPorn.com says, sex is not the same thing as porn. It's the same way that playing Call of Duty on Xbox isn't the same thing as going to war in Afghanistan. When I was using, I would look forward to porn, but I would dread sex. Sex with my girlfriend felt like a chore. It wasn't her fault. I would avoid sex because I had trained my brain to look for porn for arousal. So, when it came time to satisfy my girlfriend, it just emphasized the distance I had created between us. It didn't happen right away, but after a short time, I started to desire her touch again. I didn't have to distance myself from intimacy or passion. Porn doesn't have those things. Porn obsession lets you dismiss it when you notice a small imperfection and move on to the next video. It creates a desire for an unrealistic sex life that would never, ever satisfy anyone. It is also something that I'd project onto myself. I'd think I'd have to be built or hung to be desired in such a way. Leaving it all behind made me start to notice my girlfriend again and love her for who she was. It made me stop objectifying other girls as well. Have you noticed that girls don't want to spend time around you? I sure did. They were put off by my crudeness and I don't blame them. 6. Things seem possible again. When I was using porn, it was my crutch. Had a bad day equals porn. Fighting with a girlfriend equals porn. Or it equals porn. Things just seemed too damn hard when I was on it. I've used the example of my messy apartment a few times. So here it is again. It's hard to imagine what was really stopping me from just getting up and doing the dishes each day. Now it's no surprise. Add up all the previous points on this list and there was a guy who didn't do anything with himself. People didn't want to be around him were afraid of intimacy, were living a lie, and had no self-control. It's no wonder life felt so difficult each day. I wanted an excuse to watch porn so I'd look for reasons to feel tired, stressed, and overwhelmed. Once I gave up porn, after a while, I gained the perspective that life really isn't that bad. Yes, bad things do happen. Things can be tough, but when I'm looking for a crutch every time things don't go my way, then I see how I'm missing out on the good things. After quitting porn I can work hard at my job and school and have acquired many more useful skills that I'm proud of. I'm the type of person people want to have around. I love intimacy and sex with my girlfriend again. I'm upfront and upfront. I do my best to control myself and make the right decisions. All of these are things I wanted to accomplish. All things I wanted to become. I know I can do them. I don't have to feel held up by anything because life doesn't feel so heavy anymore. Life feels like it is worth living. I truly believe that life will only continue to get better from here and it can be the same way for you. If you find yourself exhausted and overwhelmed as you just begin to get counseling for porn addiction, then know that this is what you have to look forward to. Recognize that there will be slip-ups, problems, and roadblocks along the way, but you're trading a bunch of pixels of naked people on a computer monitor for real life with happiness, success, and freedom. Never forget that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more. Also, don't forget to share this with your friends and leave a comment below with your thoughts. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. X-King out.